One of the huge issues for the next mayor of Sacramento will certainly be the city's big budget deficit. Right now it's $77 million. So what would you cut or what fees would you raise? In other words, what more will people need to pay for in Sacramento in order to balance the budget? And please be very specific about these. And uh, candidate McCarty, we'll start with you. Well, first of all, I, I think it's a bit troubling that we have a budget deficit when we have an economy growing. I think 10 years ago, when we had the Great Recession, massive drops in taxes, and we taxed revenue for the city, and we had to make cuts. I don't want to cut police and fire and public safety, nor parks and recreation or youth programs. We need to zero in on non-core issues throughout the city of Sacramento, focusing on the basics. I don't think we can go back to our voters and tax them again. We need to focus on growing our economy and looking in the budget and making efficiency. As far as growing our economy, one thing I want to do is have a, a commission that streamlines the building permit process, make it easier for developers and housing contractors that come to Sacramento and do business in the city of Sacramento, make that our competitive advantage. Unlock downtown, we have all these vacant buildings downtown that pay zero property taxes. Turn them over to the private sector, bring more life downtown, and bring more money into the city general fund. Just a follow up there, when you're saying that the city should not be in this position where they have a $77 million hole, what do you blame for that? What did the city spend money on that they should not have to get in this position? I think two things, uh, spending um, one-time money for ongoing purposes, we need to look at that. Uh, you know, I was the budget chair in the legislature and a council member, so I'm going to look at making sure our ongoing versus our one-time revenues match up. Is there a specific program there? And also I think looking at, if you look at the core discretionary general fund, 85% of it's on three things, police, fire, parks and recreation youth program. So I want to look at the general fund and see where we're spending outside of that because some of these issues may look good on a list when you're trying to light up your Christmas tree, but when you focus on the, the basics for the city of Sacramento, they may not match. Time. Uh, and candidate Kofer, same question for you. What would you cut or what fees would you raise? Yeah, I was the Measure U chair and in 2019, the city uh, actually paid management partners for 39 process and efficiency recommendations to help maximize the, the revenue and also minimize costs. And that was to be done without having to cut any city services or cut any staff. And so it's really frustrating to be in this position because those recommendations were given to the city and could have avoided this mess that we're in right now. Recommendations like using GPS to make sure that our trash um, was going to be picked up in an inefficient way for fuel, and that was supported by Public Works. Recommendations like an ambulance service, which was a subscription service, which was supported by our fire department. Recommendations like coming into compliance with our federal overtime regulations. Recommendations like an asset management program that would have prevented Rio City Cafe from having to shut down. So there are concrete recommendations that we were we already paid money, taxpayer money, to be able to get. And so my number one priority is making making sure that we review those and start focusing on actually implementing them. I guess the follow-up question here is that if the city did not follow those recommendations, we are now in this hole. So it's going to take, you know, some serious difficult decisions to get out of it. What what might those look like under your leadership? Well, there are almost $80 million worth of savings in that re in those recommendations. That's first things. And we may not ap apply all of them, but we also need to make sure that we're drawing down federal and state money that we are eligible for. The city of Sacramento left $12 million on the table for violence prevention funds from CalVIP funds that we needed, funds that could have continued our trend of having no youth homicides, but instead homicides are up. And so I don't want Sacramento to leave any money on the table, and that's what you'll get with a Mayor Kofer.